guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have for you guys my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of November. So if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's a monthly subscription box. You pay 20... Is it 20 or 21? I don't know why I'm having a brain fart about this, but it's either 20 or $21 a month and you get this box sent to you. It's got five to six full-sized products and the cost for the box, like the total is usually over $100. Um, I don't have too much more to say about it. You guys know how I feel about BoxyCharm and how I do my videos. Everything that's on or in this box is on my face. And without further ado, let's jump straight in. Okay, so for the theme this month, it is sweater weather. And it has all of the items that we are receiving on the back right here. The first thing that I'm going to take out of the box is the Luxie Beauty Quad Eye Travel Set. And it says that this retails for $32. These are three travel sized brushes for your eyes. And they're by Luxie. Luxie is an amazing brush company. I honestly haven't really purchased anything outside of BoxyCharm, but everything that I've gotten, like in my BoxyCharm and other subscription boxes, have been absolutely amazing. They are a great company and I highly recommend them. Ooh, I got stuff flying out at me. Oh, there's four. I only used three. Wow. I should have known that quad. Duh. Okay, I only used these three brushes, but there is one more because apparently I'm pretty freaking blonde today. <laughs> the first one is the Luxie 207T. Next, you get the Luxie 218T. You get the Luxie 227T. And the Luxie 221T. So those are four really amazing brushes. Like I said, I only used the three because obviously I just was not thinking. Um, when I was doing my makeup, I was just like in the zone and just realized that there was one I didn't use. I guess the next thing that we will talk about is this bad boy right here and probably the thing I think makes this entire box. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray and this retails for $31 and I have heard a lot of reviews about this like I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this like outside of BoxyCharm. The packaging on this is stunning. I love the little detail of the holographic packaging. That kind of packaging also continues onto the bottle itself. Um, and I think it's really cool. Listen to this. It kind of sounds like spray paint when you shake it up, but you really need to because this is illuminating and it does have little tiny specks of glitter in it so if you don't it's going to look like a hot mess but I do think that this would look absolutely amazing on a day where you're doing like a matte face and it just kind of seems like it's just a little too matte for your liking just throw this on top and it'll just transform your look I think this looks so freaking good I feel like it really helped with the cakiness on my face. I just, I really liked it and the mist on this thing is amazing. Oh my god, it is so good. I'm so freaking happy that we got this in the box this month. Alright, next thing that I see in the box is really exciting because it's that time of year again. The time of year where my lips literally shrivel up and die. Like, it's just awful. And so, like I said, these couldn't have come at a better time. This is the KNC Beauty Collagen Lip Masks and it retails for $15. It says it's an innovative jelly mask for your lips that hydrate, moisturize, and plump your pout with natural ingredients. I did use these. It says that you can have these on for 15 to 20 minutes. I just put these on while I was doing my eye makeup and I felt like it did hydrate it a little bit. I still feel like the inside of my lips are a little bit crusty and I know, gross, right? 
but it's a little bit crusty and dry um, but I don't think that's something that's just gonna go away with one lip mask I do feel like it's kind of a little expensive five dollars per mask if you do the mask but I'm still really excited to use these and they did feel a little bit more hydrated after I took off the lip mask the only thing that I will say about these is I felt like when I put the mask on that it wasn't really clinging to my skin like I felt like it kind of was falling off and I had to keep reapplying it which was kind of annoying but I mean if you're just kind of relaxing laying down like you know looking at your phone or whatever I guess it wouldn't be too big of a deal I've actually never gotten to try one of these before I always see like the lip masks but I've never done one myself, so it was really cool to finally get to do one of these. Okay, next thing in the box is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. Might I add, just to start off, the packaging of this is absolutely stunning. I love it. I love cats, so I mean, that's no surprise. As far as the product on the inside, I have to be completely honest with you guys. I'm just not a huge, huge fan. If I'm being like 100% real with you guys, I just don't feel like the colors really scream out to me. I feel like a lot of the colors are colors I already own. Um, so I feel like I will probably be giving this away to my friend Kelsey for her birthday. So Kelsey, if you're watching this, surprise, happy birthday. But I mean, it was, it was good, don't get me wrong. Like I think the shadows were nice. It's just I have so many shadow palettes at this point where I just don't feel like having this one is necessary in my collection. And that is again the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. It retails for $25 and yeah, I mean I guess that was just like the most disappointing product in the box. And then the last thing in the box is actually something that really surprised me. This is the Laca & Co Cloud Lips and it's an airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage but feels as light as a cloud. This highly pigmented lipstick has a matte finish for long lasting fluffy pouty lips that stay put and this retails for $17. Just to start off, the color of this is gorgeous. I 100% absolutely recommend you put a lip liner underneath this or it's going to look patchy, especially, like I said, with my dry lip. It feels really comfortable on my lips. It is not kiss proof, um, but I also do think that has a lot to do with the fact that it is very comfortable, so I feel like it's not like one of those mattes that are going to stay put throughout the entire day. With that being said, with the color being so dark, I am very happy that it's not super patchy. Um, I felt like it went on really nicely, and if you're just going around running errands, I think this would be a perfect, perfect color and a formula for a fall lip. And the total for the box for this month is $120, and you pay $20 a month. So with that being said, I totally think this box is well beyond worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. It would mean the entire world to me. And I will see you guys very shortly in my next video. Bye!